Welcome back for another serger tip clip. Today I want to show you the blanket stitch on the serger. It's a great edge finish on the hem of a skirt, maybe around a sleeve, but it's also terrific around polar fleece blankets or all sorts of projects. The blanket stitch is a two thread serger stitch. We'll use the left overlock needle position with the top stitch needle in because we'll be using thicker decorative thread and we'll use a coordinating color thread in the lower looper. This is a two thread stitch using the left needle and the lower looper. But in order for the machine to form a stitch, you have to engage the subsidiary looper or the upper looper converter. Now on this baby lock serger, we have a subsidiary looper that's already attached permanently to the upper looper. And it just flips over and you ever so gently just push back on it and there's a tiny little prong. You probably heard that little click. And that little prong goes into the eye of the upper looper and closes it and it essentially fools the machine. Um, depending on what brand and model machine you have, Yours may call the subsidiary looper a, an upper looper converter, and they can look entirely different from one brand to another of serger. So again, check your owner's manual for um, whether you have that or not, and whether you have that capability to do a two thread stitch. Um, it might be in your accessory case, and you might have flipped through a million times and, and pushed it aside because you didn't know what it was. But if you want to try this stitch out, you'll need to use that. I want to give you a little Gail Patrice trick for making sure that your needle thread doesn't slide into your tension disc, even though you've got them completely closed. On my old serger, which was a different brand, I used to find that even though they were closed, my needle thread as I stitched along would somehow just kind of get hung up in those tension discs just ever so slightly. And then it made it too hard to pull the thread over the top of the fabric. Well, I found that my little workaround for that was good old scotch tape. And I just put a piece across the little threading channel for that needle root and I threaded the thread over it, and I'll show you a close-up of that, and it works perfectly. Let's review our machine setup again. We've put our subsidiary looper or upper looper converter um, in the upper looper eye, so that's all set because we are doing two threads. I have my one needle in the left overlocked position, and my other thread is in the lower looper. So essentially, your machine setup is exactly the same as if you were doing a two thread flat lock. Now, the one difference with this is using a wash away stabilizer. And you need to use one that's kind of transparent because you have to be able to see the edge of your fabric to see where you're going. And what I like to do, again, is to use my needle like a third hand and to get that stabilizer in because stabilizer is kind of slippery. And sometimes the presser foot has a tendency to keep pushing it back toward you. So I like to get that in and anchored. And then I'm going to get my fabric, slip it under the stabilizer. And depending on your machine, and again, this is something you'll do as a sample, you may either be able to trim off a little bit of the edge of the fabric, or you may need to scooch it to the left just a smidge to get a really good looking blanket stitch. But you can experiment with that at your machine. So I've got my stitch length on four. Um, this is polar fleece, but I've got my differential feed on N or one, whichever your machine designates. And I'm just going to start stitching along. And you'll see why I need that stabilizer. My edge is all stitched, just like that. This is what it looks like at this point. Now, why do I need the stabilizer? Because I want to create that blanket stitch. So what I do is I take it and I'm pulling the needle thread right over the edge and across the top of the fabric. Just like that. Just very gently go along a little bit at a time. You may have to kind of nudge it along in a few spots, but that's okay. And then you can just gently 
pull off the stabilizer and you've got a beautiful blanket stitch. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon.